Today on Seasonings we're talking about cinnamon, but mostly we're going to talk about cassia. So what am I talking about? Cinnamon, cassia, what's cinnamon? Um, in North America, uh, if you go to the grocery store or the spice market, you're probably going to find this, and it is cassia. It's not true cinnamon. Um, this is true cinnamon grown in Sri Lanka, and they're from the same plant family, but they're from different branches of that family tree, and they have slightly different flavors. Um, so let's get into it. And like a lot of other spices, cinnamon comes from a tree within the laurel family. Um, if you do any sort of spice research, you're going to realize very quickly that a lot of the spices that we use uh, in cooking come from various branches of the laurel family tree. So this is true cinnamon, and you can tell true cinnamon because it is um, softer, flakier, more brittle. It's going to come apart in your hands more, and it has a really well-rounded uh, flavor and smell and aroma. So true cinnamon is also known as baker cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon, soft stick cinnamon. This is grown in Sri Lanka, and you'll notice that when it's rolled into quills like this, the walls are very thin and uh, papery thin, and there's several different layers. Now, this is true cinnamon. Um, when you're buying ground cinnamon, you're not getting true cinnamon, you're getting cassia. When you're buying cinnamon sticks in the grocery store, like I said, you're buying cassia. Um, does that really make a difference? I don't think that it does. I think that the complexity of flavor is lost on most people in the way that we usually use cinnamon. Um, if cinnamon is the only flavor component, then I would say, yes, true cinnamon is the way to go. But if you're putting it into cakes and, you know, soups or stews or all of those things, cassia works just fine. Um, it leaves out some of the flavor components. Um, it's like taking away all of the treble and just having the base. This is the base note. This is what most people in North America associate with cinnamon and packaging laws in North America don't say that they have to tell you whether it's true cinnamon or cassia. They can call cassia cinnamon. So I use uh, cassia everywhere. Um, I use it in soups, I use it in stews, I use it in baked goods. So cassia cinnamon is the most commonly harvested cinnamon species. Um, it's sold in North America generically as cinnamon and the flavor is both uh, a little bit more simplistic and more intense than that of true cinnamon. True cinnamon was a Ferrari. Um, Cassia would be a Pontiac Fiero. And so if you're gonna buy cinnamon sticks and you're gonna try to grind them at home, almost impossible. Buy, if you need ground cinnamon, buy ground cinnamon. Uh, you're never gonna get this ground as finely as you think you'd want it. There are other varieties of cassia cinnamon. Um, there is a variety grown in Vietnam called Saigon cinnamon. Um, and if uh, true cinnamon was really complex, regular cassia cinnamon is, uh, is less complex. Saigon cinnamon is like a smack in the face. It's all base note, no complexity, just the heat. Um, and that has its place as well. In our kitchen, we also have uh, this stuff, um, which is cinnamon bark from older trees. And I pick that up when I go to, uh, to the Caribbean. And I use this in chilies. I use this in places where I really just want that base note. You could use Saigon cinnamon in that place. Um, this stuff has great flavor. You know, for those places where you just need a cinnamon sledgehammer. So true cinnamon, true cinnamon is, um, is native to Sri Lanka. The cassia cinnamon is native to central China. Um, they grew up in different environments, slightly different species, slightly different flavor profiles. So are you confused? Um, <laughs> it can be confusing. And for those people out there that try to tell you that uh, the true cinnamon is the only way to go, not really. They both have their place, they both have their uses. And so that's it for cinnamon.